Well, good morning and welcome to Morning Gospel Fuel with Mr. G. It is Wednesday, March 30th, the fourth Wednesday of Lent, and the feast day of St. Ignazia Verseri. Um, and she was an Italian Roman Catholic uh, who became a Benedictine nun, and um, she established the Daughters of the Sacred Heart of Jesus. Um, she, has, she had a strong dedication to the needs of girls. Um, and their education was one of her top priorities. Um, and she established orphanages and provided assistance to the old and the ill as well. So through all stages of life. Uh, and see, she is the patron saint of the daughters of the Sacred Heart of Jesus, as well as the patron saint of educators. One of the many patron saints of educators. But that is Saint Ignazia Verseri. Today's gospel is from John chapter 5, verses 17 through 30. Let's begin in the name of the Father, Son, and Spirit. Amen. But Jesus answered them, My Father is at work until now, so I am at work. For this reason the Jews tried all the more to kill him, because he not only broke the Sabbath, but he also called God his own Father, making himself equal to God. Jesus answered and said to them, Amen, amen, I say to you, a son cannot do anything on his own, but only what he sees his father doing. For what he does, his son will do also. For the father loves his son and shows him everything that he himself does, and he will show him greater works than these, so that you may be amazed. For just as the father raises the dead and gives life, so also does the son give life to whomever he wishes. Nor does the Father judge anyone, but he has given all judgment to his Son, so that all may honor the Son just as they honor the Father. Whoever does not honor the Son does not honor the Father who sent him. Amen, amen, I say to you, whoever hears my word and believes in the one who sent me has eternal life and will not come to condemnation, but has passed from death to life. Amen, amen, I say to you, the hour is coming and is now here when the dead will hear the voice of the Son of God and those who hear will live. For just as the Father has life in himself, so also he gave to his Son the possession of life in himself. And he gave him power to exercise judgment because he is the Son of Man. Do not be amazed at this because the hour is coming in which all who are in the tombs will hear his voice and will come out those who have done good deeds to the resurrection of life but those who have done wicked deeds to the resurrection of condemnation. I cannot do anything on my own. I judge as I hear, and my judgment is just, because I do not seek my own will, but the will of the one who sent me. <clears throat> so we see the importance of, of relationship here today between God the Father and God the Son, in which... Um, you know, Jesus is God made man. God gave us his son, Jesus, as a gift in which Jesus is truly God, but he's also truly man. You know, he has two natures in one person, which is part of the mystery of the incarnation. But Jesus took every form of, of a human as what we do. He was just sinless. But he had the same temptations, the same intellect, the same will, the same judgment, the same ability to, you know, he needed rest. You know, he had the same faculties that we have, which is part of the gift of, of everything. Um, but we see that this relationship between the father and the son um, and, how it, and how much Jesus will only do what God the father tells him, which shows the importance of fatherhood. Which is why fathers are the backbone of society. Um, in fact, my thesis paper that I'm writing right now is centered on the impact of, of fatherlessness of those children who are raised without a father and its impact on them, in which most of them are very negative, and then how um, how kids can over can overcome resilience in that. But um, a father has a huge impact in child development in every phase of development. And we see just who is developing Jesus, and that is God the Father. And there's a footnote here on verse 19, which verse 19 says, um, 
Jesus answered them, Amen, amen, I say to you, a son cannot do anything on his own, but only what he sees his father doing. For what he does, his son will do also. So it just shows how, how teachable um, it is for a father and son and how important that is. Uh, and that every little thing that that happens between a father and the son it makes a difference. And the proverb here, the footnote says that this proverb or parable is taken from apprenticeship in a trade. The activity of a son is modeled on that of his father. Jesus' dependence on the father is justification for doing what the father does. Because we are all, all children, and even adults, want and yearn for somebody to model their life after. Um, they want that, that role model. So every little thing that they do, how how they handle themselves, conduct themselves, how they treat their spouse, how they treat their other kids, how they treat family members and friends and those they might not agree with. You know, every everything um, impacts um, a child and because we're all learning creatures. You know, we, we seek to learn and understand. And we monitor ourselves based upon the environment in which we grow up. Um, and you, so we see where what Jesus sets his environment as. It's purely centered on God the Father, while also having the traits of his of his foster father Joseph um, in his earthly life, because he needed you know like Jesus was fully human, he needed a human example, and Joseph created that that example um, for him on earth. But God the Father was the ultimate, um, and so if we want to be formed into God's will and doing whatever it is that the Lord wants to do for us and in us and through us in this life, we have to spend time in prayer and learning and study so that we can discover what it is that God the Father wants of us to do, his sons and daughters in Christ, me and you. So how much importance are you stressing on your prayer life during this Lenten season? so that you can get your heart fixed towards God, so that you can do His will in this moment and in every moment throughout our lives. So have a great day. God bless. Keep it real. In your Father, Son, and Spirit, amen.